massive U.S. airstrikes, Afghan ground operations and major Taliban offensives against the Islamic State group in Afghanistan. 1,400 fighters and family members surrendered to government forces between October and December 2019. This is the story of some of the 60 Indians who joined the most brutal terror group the modern world has known. Why they chose to go, how they reached Afghanistan and what happened to them in some of their own voices. The reason we moved was to live an Islamic life and under a caliphate, a Muslim rule. So, but once we reached there, many of our expectations were not met. In the eyes, the, the yeah. widows and the orphans, they will be taken care of and money will be provided for them. The Indians took three routes through the UAE, Oman and Iran to their final destination. The Afpak border in Momandara, Nangarhar province. Sonia Sebastian, my husband's name is Abdul Rashid Abdullah, I have one daughter, her name is and I came to uh, Khorasan in 2000, the year 2016, I had accompanied my husband and uh, once we reached here, many things we saw were not uh, up to our expectations. We came here expecting um, an Islamic life uh, to live under Islamic law, but many things were not up to our expectations, be it the Salah in the Masjid and different things. So this was kind of a disappointment and so I am assuming many people who want to come are, are coming with the same expectations, but that is not what the reality is. So I would um, suggest everybody to rethink their decision and think carefully be before doing anything. And uh, now what I want is I want to return to India, uh, to my husband's family. And um, I want to cut myself off from everything that has happened. Because anyway, my husband is also no more. and. Now what I have left is only my husband's family and now I wish to return back to India. And what is your future association with the Islamic State? In the future, I, I have decided to completely cut off myself from all this. I don't want to associate myself with all this anymore. Again. Never again? No. You are very convinced? Yeah, you are speaking under some pressure. No, I'm not speaking under any pressure. This is a decision I have made by myself. You know, the thing is, see, when there was a Khilafah, when I was in Mahmud, I was happy at that time. So I can never say that Khilafah is, was wrong. What I did was wrong. That I can't say right because I had a comfortable life there. So now the situation is different and I have no idea what is happening because I told you even today's date I didn't know. So I don't know is there any place at all or nothing that I don't know. If there is no place, see we, all, we are all here now. At this point, there is no point in doing hijrah. But at the same time I can't say that when there was a khilafah, we shouldn't do hijrah. That I can't say because I The khilafah is there even now. No, now, see, <coughs> now it's not there, right? Now we are all here. 
We are no, Khilafah is still there. It's just that you are not in Khilafah now. No. See, if there was a Khilafah in Khorasan, you know, we wouldn't be here, right? But I've been there, right? You left Khilafah even before that was taken by the Emirates. Uh, because it was, we, most of us knew that this was, this is supposed to, this is going to happen. This is a National Investigation Agency NIA charge sheet registered on the 20th of September 2016. Investigations, interrogations and arrests, the NIA charge sheet says, narrowed down on five masterminds, three arrested in India and two who reached Afghanistan and were subsequently killed in strikes. The charge sheet shows the intricate web between this group from Kerala. An arrested aide of fugitive preacher Zakir Naik radicalized them at the Islamic Research Foundation in Mumbai. An imam in Kasargod in Kerala turned them extremist. The Christians were helped to convert to Islam. And the group finally joined IS and left for Afghanistan. Intense aerial and ground pressure over two years forced over 1,000 to surrender. The Taliban claim they, not Afghan or foreign forces, destroyed Daesh's back in Afghanistan. The US even dropped the mother of all bombs, one of the most powerful non-nuclear weapons on an Islamic State cave complex in April 2017. You knew at you your companion Ajmala. She got killed. Ha, she got killed. You you know what happened to people. Ha. And you you want other sisters to suffer that from. Me, yeah. no. The thing is, no. one day we all will die. That's Definitely. Yeah. And so in Islam, being getting killed was <laughs> yeah maybe because Ajmala didn't have and to go through this. What would happen? What would happen to your daughter? Same thing that happened to her son, right? No. She if you would have died and your daughter would have been alive, then? I don't know. Allah will take care of her. It was all Allah. Whatever happened is in Allah's Are you happy with the condition she is in right now? No. No. In Khorasan, I was happy with her. But she was... You were all the time you were traveling. You were moving. Oh. You did not... Uh, what kind of education you impart, uh, did you impart? She is just three years did? old now. I three years old is a... You have... Studied. You know, three years old is by this time people start speaking, they start going to preschools. Ha, the thing is that she hears Urdu and Pashto and Malayalam. She, she speaks. No, she speaks. So it's not like she doesn't speak. No, she's not fluent. She doesn't. Ha, she doesn't. She is not fluent because some things she she can understand Urdu and she can understand Malayalam, but she she is confused what to speak and like that. She can even understand English, Mashallah, but <laughs> she doesn't know what to speak. So what do you think of Islamic State? Joining Islamic State? I don't see any point in doing so. So you should not have done that. On hindsight you will think that you should not have done that. Your brother, your husband should not have done that. He did what he wanted and I can't say I regret because because I came I got three years more with him. He should have left me and gone. That was for sure. So, and once I reached there, I was not involved in anything. We were in the house, we were not exposed to anything, any brutality, nothing. We were not involved, so then... The brutality was happening around you? No, we were, we were not aware of it. Because, I don't know, like, Sham, a lot of things were advertised. But in Khorasan, we have not heard of such things happening. or we, Lived a very normal life. We were not exposed to anything. So, then. so what is the message you would like to convey if I told you had an opportunity to tell to the people who wants, who still wants to join? 
I want to know from you. Uh, one reason many people moved to the Islamic state was basically it was not they were not motivated by slaughtering. That is all one side. I don't know. Maybe sadists will be motivated by such things. Mainly it was to live an Islamic life. Who would be not motivated by? Like slaughtering and things like that. Ah, that only hmm. sadists would be, you know, motivated by such things. That and all, for us it is so difficult to digest. So the reason we moved was to live an Islamic life. And under a caliphate, a Muslim rule. So, but once we reached there, many of our expectations were not met. Like even Rashid, towards the end of his life, he was very disappointed. Like expectations and reality. Well, how would you draw the column? Between? Yeah, he was like, there's no system here. There's nothing happening, and people don't come to the masjid to pray. And he was particular about such things. It was all false. The propaganda that they were spreading was false. Huh. As in, there are lots of people who would never come to the masjid, and was, uh, but the leaders didn't do anything about it. And because that is the main part of our religion, like five times prayer, and he was very particular about it. Mm. So towards the end of his life, he was very disappointed. He had stopped making the audios also. He was not doing anything. He was just, you know, taking care of household work and this. What was the main focus of the leaders? Still, but they were not interested in. But that's quite a different thing from three years ago. No, three years ago he was so convinced to move to this Tala Mora Mountain. That, that time he was towards the end of the days. He was very demotivated. Did, did he try to come back? No, that he never spoke about. But he was very demotivated. He, even his last yeah. words when he got killed, he was like, "I'm I'm done with this dunya. I want to you know somehow leave." That was there was a brother who witnessed his death. So that was the message his wife gave me. He was completely. I all I knew understood it. When I heard that, I understood. He was. He didn't ex explicitly tell me that I'm disappointed and all that. But being a wife, that I knew. You would get to know. Yeah, the, he was fed up, and that's why he stopped making the audios. People were encouraging him continue, make it hundred. He was like. साथ में आखिरी बात है तुम लोग और वामस से दाईश के जगह से निकलने वाले थे तो लास्ट में कोई बड़ा आदमी मिलने आया था प्रेजेंट वाली दाईश का कौन है कोई नहीं हमें बिल्कुल एक मिलने आया था एक मिलने आया था आपका प्रेजेंट वाली मिलने आया था दाईश का कुछ पैसे भी पकड़ाए थे सभी को नहीं प्रेजेंट वाली कौन है भ प्रेजेंट वाली के घर वाले कहाँ हैं? तो नहीं पता। नहीं पता? प्रेजेंट वाली के घर तक नहीं देखा। ठीक है, ठीक है, नहीं, नहीं देखा। कितने पैसे मिले थे? ये भी नहीं पता। नहीं, हम बस निकलते वक्त दिया। रुक करके दिया। अंदर से नहीं दिया, हम उधर से खिलाफ से निकलते वक्त दिया। किस हाँ दिया � but you were still in the U.S. and 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 the U.S. मेरे पास थी हमारे पास थी हाँ कुछ के पास बुर्के नहीं थे तो उनसे ये इन्वाइस किया गया था उनके पास थी बुर्के वो बंदा कौन था नाम पता है तुम्हें जिसने पैसे दिए थे तुम्हारे हाथ में मुझे एक औरत ने दिया नहीं अच्छा चलो ये भी मान लिया आपके साथ अच्छा एक नहीं पात वो औरत कौन थी और कुछ एडवाइस भी किया तो उस आदमी ने सभी को सबको जवाब करके पर एक बात नहीं ऐसा नहीं हुआ था नहीं बात है ठीक है ये भी नहीं मानी ठीक है अब पर एक एक बात था एक एक बात था बहुत सिंपल इतनी कहानी आपने सुना दी आप निंद्रा तक पहुंच गए ये बात क्यों नहीं बताई आपने 
अभी आप कह रहे हो कि कोई लीडिंग बंदा था नहीं फिर आप अभी कह रहे हो कि भाई पाँच पाँच हजार रुपए हाथ में दे दी और कहें कि सीने वाले रोड पे चलो नंगरहर किस दूसरा खिलाफत की कोई अच्छा तरतीब होगा सेफ के लिए किसी जगह हमें करेगा फिर थोड़ा सेफ होगा फिर वापस करेगा ऐसे कुछ सोच के लेकिन फौज के फौज के हाथ पे नहीं देना नहीं पाकिस्तान में भी नहीं कहा हमें क्यों हमें इंडियन से But then in Kerala you have the you have relatives you have uh, so many other things to do mm. to paper we are going to do newspaper you have you have the morning cup of coffee mm. or the petal garden we are going to do petal garden we are going to do so many other things you hardly had uh, you would have survived on basic amount of food no not like you had pastries and then you could feed food food was not a problem we used to make our you know we used to make pizza we used to make you know Where would, where would the cheese cheese? Uh, there's an Afghan cheese called Krut. Okay. They dry it and make. Mm. So that then putta also we have made. Okay. <laughs> so would have thought that cheese is how you know make special the cake also we make. Mm. So that was not a much of a problem. Mm. That thing doesn't make sense now. Whatever they talk about, I understand Islam. I understand the religion. I understand everything. But when they say that, you know, if your hair, hair prayer is from heart, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. In practical world, this is not true. Right? Even in Khurasan, the practical scenario was different. Right? Uh huh. I mean, we believe in um, something called qadr, predestiny. Mm -hmm. So everything that good and happen, uh, bad happens is from. Allah and mm -hmm. accept it whatever. So mm -hmm. we are expected to be pleased with what whatever Allah has mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. and we don't question His decree. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you never thought of leaving Pakistan after Russia's death? After Russia's <laughs> death, we've been running only. We've been always we've been uh, right after he got killed. Uh, The our place became unsafe. Then all the ladies were living together in our house. So it's been we've been running and running, walking and walking and walking, and it's. So it's like you are running away from your enemy who's chasing you yeah. constantly. Yeah. Hmm. So life of fear. Ah, after his death, after he got killed, it was very difficult because that time he is also not there, and hmm. plus I'm on my own. My child is there, and we are. Only one baby. I have only one child. You did not consume in between. I had a miscarriage once I reached uh, Khurasan. I, once I just conceived once. After that, I didn't conceive. I want to tell your mother speak now. I don't. I don't have anything much to tell. <coughs> It was her wish actually that she wanted to meet me. She wanted to meet me. I don't know if she will be able to meet me or not. You want to meet her? I don't know if it's in Kadar that I will meet her. Otherwise, do you want to go back to India oh, from no. this? Wait for. Yeah, of course. See, I can't say that I want to stay in Afghanistan. See, Afghanistan is not my place. India was my place. So if they will take me, they won't put me in jail, and they am I'm not oppressed. Then I would want to go back to India. <laughs> and what she will become? She will. Uh, you will be. Con you will continue to be in Daesh. <coughs> see now, right now, am I in Daesh? No, right. No, no but you have the philosophy of Daesh, right? No, I don't have the philosophy of Daesh. I have. I just wanted Allah Sharia to be here. I don't want any. So now Daesh is not uh, doing. It's not existing now. Okay. That is what everyone is saying, right? So uh, that's the reality. You must believe that. Mm. So now, what is that? Uh, what would you? What would you do after going to India? I'm not confused. I'm confused. See. Basically, I can't you know depend on anyone, my husband's family or my family, and stay for a long time. I definitely need an income, so I don't know. Allah will show me the right way, maybe. Like how He guided me till now, He will guide me ahead, inshallah. Suppose you were, you didn't want to get remarried, and you, how would you have survived? Looked after, 
शादी वाले लोग ना वो फाइटर थे ना आर्मी वाले थे ना इंटेलिजेंस थे ना जमात वाले थे ना दावत वाले थे कुछ भी नहीं थे लड़की दुल्हन के कपड़ों में स्टेज पे खड़ी है और सुसाइड बॉम्बर आता है और सारे जितने भी रिश्तेदार है जैसे खून में लगकत हो जाते हैं और दाइश वालों ने इसकी जिम्मेदारी ली दो महीने पहले खुरासान वालों ने जिम्मेदारी ली वो लड़की पता है लड़की की मर गई रोते रोते मर गई वो लड़की वो दुल्हन रो रही थी कि उसका भाई तो उसके सर अब अब बमबारी नहीं होगी तो क्या फोन बस आएंगे इसके थोड़े पहले उस अगर उस लड़की के हाथ लगेंगे पूरा डेड बॉडी पाकिस्तानी in meantime my daughter also got died acha ro fayda kya hai kya jo may their marriage may their marriage 70 70 and they were together 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 they You can convert also because of him. You got converted also because of Shah yeah. Rashid, and you came to Khurasan also hmm. because of him. Hmm. So now that he is not there anymore, will you use your own brains? You start using your own brains. What would you do? <laughs> you you stop. You are an engineer. That's the thing that's very you know that's not making sense to me. Normally you have done you have learned engineering for four years and by default you are supposed to be inquisitive. Hmm. You would doubt and you'll have questions and you start you know we try to innovate and discover some stuff. You know, yeah. That's the main huh. factor. So yes. now that you have shut your brains, what in future you are going to do? That's future. I want to return to my husband's family. Okay. Uh, you would be staying with them for a long time now. Hmm. You, we don't know for how long. Hmm. So they have a different mindset. Most these people. Them, these people. So how can you guarantee that you or your daughter? She's now you know she can understand things. How can you guarantee that you and your daughter won't be a threat for us in future? Right now we are seeing you in a different mindset. Few you are vulnerable now. Like, you are not yeah. in a position. You are not speaking from a position of strength. Hmm. You are in jail. I oh. know. Hmm. You are in a very vulnerable position. Hmm. You're not supposed to be speaking from the position. I need time. to know about something, some plans, these people. So, are you very, are you really sure that your convictions are strong, that you won't join back? Yes. Do you think is joining Islamic State was not the right thing to do? Coming, I would, I can't say. I told you because I wanted to, I because I came, I could spend three years with my husband. That wherever he would have gone, I would have gone with him. Uh, if, okay. If, if hmm. one more question. So, if in this time mm -hmm. you get to know that they have some plan, huh. you won't get convicted. You won't get convinced. Mm -hmm. 
okay hmm. would you rather come out and inform hmm. people that these some are not from just just from your group anyone in the jail hmm. is planning to do something would you you know volunteer to save lives save lives in i'll tell you i'll tell you explain um we have come to know that hmm. islamic state had some agenda in sending you people back in pushing you people back one thing was your safety huh. and they also had some other plans as we have known okay through some of you through some of your friends we are not sure who it is but we are aware ki they wanted some of you to be istiharis absolutely not aware about this if you get to know, if you get to know about it in future are you sure 100% the stock was there nobody has ever spoken about it such a thing Ever. In the last one and a half two months, I'm talking about last two three months. Huh? Was the women? No, nobody. I've never heard any woman talk. Not even Pashtun or Punjabi or anybody. Interpol red corner notices were issued for Sonia Sebastian and the Indians who travelled to join the Islamic State. It says if traced and arrested, New Delhi assures extradition will be sought in conformity with national law and any treaties. But for now the decision those who took in the past to live in the so-called Islamic states present makes their future uncertain.